you can see, she's curious, tail wag, um, sniff, hairs up, but you know, it's intense. There's three dogs out here. But this is nice, you know, clearly not everybody has dogs that can just sit down while a new dog is around them, but I want to really advocate for Shorty right now and give her the benefit of the doubt that I can control these three hoodlums and that she doesn't feel like she's got to snap and tell them, get out of my face. You know, you're scaring me. You're too, you're too close. Um, there's, there's other equipment that you can use to create space. Um, I have a broom right now because I don't have a dressage whip, but I have a broom that I'll use to, um, to create space if, if I'm letting them walk around and they start crowding her too much. Mowgli's inviting her to come sniff his belly. Letting dogs meet? No. So, Ramsey's got up. Down. Uh, when letting dogs meet, on leash greetings are really bad news because you can have a lot of tension on your leash and just the way that she reacts or, or other dogs will react and bark, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, when they see another dog, it's because there's somebody creating a lot of tension and there's a lot of stress with that. So, off leash dogs meeting is actually a better way to go. Clearly, I want to have her on leash because she, um, she's the girl who caused the problem, but I'm very careful about how I carry the leash. I don't keep it really tight. You know, I, I, I try and keep it as loose as possible, you know, short as possible that I can, you know, do something if I need to, but she's making some pretty good choices here sniffing. There's a dog somewhere outside the yard barking. She's a little concerned about it. If she wasn't out here with these guys, she would probably be barking about that dog because it would have surprised her but she's a little distracted now, which is perfectly fine. So, she's doing pretty good. Mowgli, here. Add a little movement. Curiosity, she's curious. Mowgli's being very good about standing still, allowing her to sniff him all over. This is something I had really had to work on him with because he was the dog that nobody could sniff. She thinks he's cute. Wagging her tail. Leo here. Well, invite Leo up. He's got a little bit more spunky energy. He's a more bouncy dog. I don't know if you can see. She's just standing there letting him sniff. You didn't think this pit bull was so tiny, did you? <laughs> a Mowgli pit bull. So I, I feel that just Ramsey's sheer size is going to be going to be a change because these guys are all short in her size. Can you see? Ramsey's here. the ante by putting a bigger dog in the mix. He doesn't look that big when he's laying down. Very curious. No barking, no growling. Follow me around. continue to work on this over the next couple weeks. Uh, based off of this interaction, I'm going to plan to take everybody on a pack walk shortly. Um, I think she's going to do fine. So I look forward to getting some documentation of that and letting you see how she progresses with my three as well as her other general behaviors. She was feeling a little threatened by Ramsey, so I just kind of shoot him off. She liked that. So that's what it's all about. Advocating for the dog so that they feel comfortable, they can make better decisions, the decisions that we want her to make, so we're not, not biting other dogs. And encourage her to be more dog-like. Sniff. I want to check out. 
other things. Oh dear, it's gone. Good girl. So, that was Shorty. Shorty's hanging out with my crew. Mowgli here. Come on. Good job, Mowgli. Checking in with me a lot. Good girl. Good girl, Shorty. Curious about the other dogs. Crushing on Mowgli because he's just so cute. Checking out Ramsey's. Ramsey's here. Good boy.